For the first episode of this series, I'm going to take the classic Etch-A-Sketch and use 3D printing to make a newer, more modern version. This new version that I've designed lets you turn your cell phone into a digital Etch-A-Sketch. But before we talk too much about that, let's pay our respects and take a quick look at how the classic version works. So how does an Etch-A-Sketch work? Well, it's pretty ingenious. Gray aluminum powder that is sealed inside coats the glass screen. This is what gives the screen its gray color. Here you can see I'm draining that aluminum powder out of the hole I just drilled in the corner. This is a close-up of the aluminum powder where you can see there's something else mixed in. We'll talk about that shortly. An internal stylus, think fine pointed scraper, is controlled by these two white knobs. This stylus then scrapes the powder off the screen in very thin lines. And this is what lets you draw on an Etch-A-Sketch. This image calls out the stylus itself, which you see is mounted on two rods that tie back to the two control knobs through a wire and pulley system that you see in the corners. I've taken the stylus and I'm using it to etch away a thin line so you can see the full effect. Erasing the etched image is done by shaking the Etch-A-Sketch. Remember those beads that were mixed in with the aluminum powder? Well, those help to smooth out and redistribute the powder across the glass, which resets the drawing area. When you step back and think about it, it's a really interesting device. No batteries or electronics, a dead simple user interface, and, unlike me, people are able to make amazing artwork with it. Now let's see how I made the newer, more modern version. First, I designed the cell phone sketcher in SOLIDWORKS. Then I printed it out on my Lulzbot TAS6 3D printer. Links to the STL files are in the video description. The free app I use for Android devices is called Simple Draw. So here's where the blending of old and new gets interesting. I found some neat benefits of being able to use your cell phone as an Etch-A-Sketch. You can adjust the pointer size. You can save your sketches. This makes making mistakes less deadly. You can actually lift the stylus off the screen and move it to a different location. This is very different than the original Etch-A-Sketch. You can use eraser mode to erase selective areas of the screen. And adjusting the pointer size helps you do it better. You can, of course, clear the whole screen at the push of a button. And finally, you can draw in different colors. Let's take a look at how the cell phone sketcher works and how it compares to the classic Etch-A-Sketch. The cell phone itself is held on a platform which moves in one direction. This moves by means of a rack and pinion mechanism. A conductive stylus is mounted in another rack and pinion mechanism which moves in the other direction. This stylus is spring-loaded and can move up and down to accommodate the different heights of various phone types. As I mentioned earlier, you can pull the stylus upward to break contact with the screen. As with the classic version, it has two knobs that let you control what is being drawn. On the whole, the implementation of this is much simpler than the classic version, except that you need a highly sophisticated touchscreen cell phone to make it work. But, you know, details. There are some downsides to this current design, which are mostly due to making it as 3D printer friendly as possible. The controls are not as accurate or smooth as a classic version, and the stylus tip partially obscures the drawing area. If you are planning on printing and building one of these, please read the assembly guide that I have written and included with the files. I found some interesting and slightly annoying differences between Apple and Android devices. If there's enough overall interest in this design, I'll do a more detailed video on assembly and those differences that I found between Apple and Android. I hope you like this cell phone sketcher and the look we took at its grandfather, the classic Etch-A-Sketch. Links to SDL files and any materials needed to make the newer version are in the video description. If you do print one, please share pictures with me on social media. Links to my Twitter and Instagram are below. Finally, if you want to help the channel grow and encourage me to make more interesting designs, please take a look at my Patreon page. Thanks for watching, and keep your eye out for the next old and new episode.